guys, we need to have a talk. You've been asking me a lot of questions about how much you should exercise. I think you guys wanna know how much you should exercise to lose weight. I know it's tricky and the answer might be confusing, but just pay attention and stay with me because I'm gonna tell you just how much you need to exercise to lose weight. Point number one, if you're trying to lose weight using exercise, you need to know how many calories you're burning and consuming. So if you go to a boot camp class or you go running, you're gonna burn more calories than you would if you were to go to a bar or a Pilates or a yoga class. That means that you do not need to eat as many calories on the days that you're going to a bar or a yoga or Pilates class as you do when you go running or you go to a boot camp class. So many people are eating the same amount of calories no matter what activities they're doing. Now the trick is to have the same amount of calorie deficit at the end of the day. That means that you're not starving yourself on the days that you're doing cardio and boot camp classes. Because by the end of the day, you're gonna be starving and many of you are gonna give in to temptation and you may overeat. So you really wanna keep track of how much you're eating if you're using exercise for weight loss. You can't just ignore what you eat. It's important to pay attention. So on days that you're gonna do cardio, you need a little bit more calories than the days that you do a less cardio intense exercise. But keep track of how many calories that you're burning because many people negate what they actually burn during their exercise. Bottom line, your calorie needs for the day depend on what your exercise is going to actually be. And if you want a precise reading of how many calories you're burning during your exercise, invest in something like a heart rate monitor so you know how hard your body is working. Point number two, Depending on how much weight you actually have to lose, you're gonna need to vary your exercise intensity and duration. If you have a hundred pounds to lose, it's gonna be easier for you to lose five to 10 pounds than someone who is trying to lose their last five to 10. This is because a lot of times when you're trying to only lose five or 10 pounds, those are vanity pounds. They're not pounds you need to lose for your health, they're pounds for you because you wanna look and feel better and there's nothing wrong with that but it's just gonna be a lot harder for you to lose those pounds versus someone who is just starting their fitness, their weight loss journey. Those first five to 10 pounds are going to be a lot easier than the last five to 10. So that means that you are going to have to bump up your intensity and the duration that you exercise to lose those last few pounds. You don't necessarily have to increase the duration, but you do need to increase the intensity. So if you're just starting out your weight loss journey, you're gonna need to do some moderate exercise to see results, to lose weight, at least moderate intensity. That is walking or jogging to uh, staying alive. That's a great song with a nice beat. So that's a nice moderate intensity. And if you're trying to lose the last five or 10 pounds, you don't necessarily to increase the duration that you're doing exercise for, but you do need to increase the intensity. I'm talking about hit exercises, intervals, uh, some nice AMRAP workouts, boot camps, uh, spinning, things like that that are really gonna amp up the intensity. If you're not into cardio, that might be increasing the weights that you're lifting at the gym. You're not gonna lose weight accidentally. You need to deliberately get out of your comfort zone to get there. Point three, in order to lose one pound of fat, you have to create a 3,500 calorie deficit. That means you're either gonna have to exercise an additional 3,500 calories a week to lose a pound, or you could do a combination of adding in exercise and also reducing how many calories that you eat. If we wanna ignore diet, you have to make sure that you're still eating a sensible diet around you know, 2,000 calories, 1,800 calories. You're gonna need to burn 500 calories a day in additional exercise to lose that pound in one week. That might sound like a lot to many of you, which is why most people, when they try to lose weight, will do a combination of diet and exercise, which is why it's so important to know how many calories you're burning and how many calories you're consuming to get that nice deficit. If you're trying to lose more weight in a week, which is gonna be really hard to maintain, 
uh, you'll have to do even more than that or even eat less than that, which is really challenging. I don't recommend that. So to burn 500 calories, it depends on your age, how much you weigh, and your gender. So for a female between you know, 130, 145 pounds, you're gonna burn about 100 calories per mile that you run or 10 minutes of high intensity exercise. So you could run five miles or you could go to about an hour long boot camp class. That's gonna be about 500 calories um, for females in that range. If you weigh more, you're gonna burn more calories. If you weigh less, you're gonna burn less calories. If you're a man, you're gonna burn more calories. Yes, ladies, that's why we hate them. One of the reasons why. So let's get to point number four. Just how much a week do I recommend? You need to look back at points one through three if you haven't realized it already. If you're not willing to change your diet at all, some of these workout videos you might have to do three times in a day to get up to that 400, 500 calorie burn. That's, that's the truth of the matter. I know that's tough love, but losing weight is hard. Now, if you are just starting out on your weight loss journey, I recommend only doing my videos, you know, one time through. But some of my videos are only five minutes. That means that you might only be burning, you know, 50 to 100 calories. Now there is an afterburn and you are going to be toning your muscles and sculpting them and building muscle mass, which is going to raise your metabolism. But it's not going to be enough to go and, you know, have a post-workout meal. If you're doing hard, intense activity, you want to have something to eat afterwards that's, you know, between 100 and 200 calories to repair those muscles. But, but, if you guys are using exercise for weight loss, a 10 minute workout video probably is not going to be enough unless you add in the diet component. There, I said it. So if you're trying to lose weight and you're using my videos, if you're being good and staying on track with your diet, a 10 to 15 minute workout a day is all you need as long as you give it your all. You need to do high intensity exercises. So something for 10 minutes that's really hard is gonna give you the same amount of results as something that you're doing for 30 minutes that's at a more moderate intensity. So if you only have 10 minutes, give me your all. If you want a more structured plan, routine, to lose weight using exercise, check out the SFIT Digital Gym. The workouts are all eight to 15 minutes, 16 minutes long. They're really intense, but they're short and you're done. You can do them anywhere. So if you're like a mom and you don't have a lot of time and you wanna do those workouts at home, or if you have a long commute and you have long hours and you only have about 10, 15 minutes in the morning to work out, this digital gym is going to give you the results that you guys want, I promise you. So hopefully I answered this question for you. If you have questions, as always, leave them down below. I'm Sarah and I'll see you guys soon.